So today, we are going to make some big improvements to my PC. And by big, we're talking about this big box right here. This right here is the RTX 3090, and we're gonna be upgrading this from my RTX 2060. I was actually really lucky to get this GPU last week along with the RTX 3070 as well. And after some hard decisions trying to determine what I was gonna put in my PC, I ended up opting for the 3090 instead of the 3070. So what we're gonna do in today's video is show you guys how to upgrade your GPU if you're going from an AMD GPU to an Nvidia GPU, or if you're going from Nvidia to Nvidia, or AMD to AMD, doesn't matter, this video covers everything. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And if you just wanna to get to a certain part within the video, all you have to do is just hover your mouse cursor over the timeline of this video, and you can just skip ahead to any particular part of this video that you're trying to look at. But real quick, I just wanna tell you guys why I chose the 3090 over the 3070, because as you guys know, the 3070 is a phenomenal GPU as well, although it's not as good as the 3090, for a lot of applications, the 3070 works perfectly, especially for gaming and definitely video editing as well. But the reason I chose the 3090 in particular was because I have two 1440p monitors, which both run at a high refresh rate. If you're watching this video, I am huge on the video editing side of things. I love making my videos. I don't outsource it to anybody. So my editing program of choice is DaVinci Resolve. What I found with the 2060, however, is that it would crash quite a bit whenever I was trying to do any effects on Fusion or I was just having so many things going on on my timeline. Also with the 2060, since it only had six gigabytes of GDDR5, that was sort of limiting for me because sometimes I would run out of memory because I was just using way too many textures, way too many effects. And although the 3070 does have 10 gigabytes of GDDR6, that is just not enough for me. I needed something that would have quite enough and I could future-proof myself on the video editing side of things going forward. And so with the 3090 having 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X, this is more than enough to handle anything I plan on doing in the future if I plan on upgrading my footage from 1080p to 4K or even to 6K or 8K this graphics card can definitely handle it. Not to mention, I had to go for an NVIDIA graphics card because NVIDIA tends to be much better on the streaming side of things. And if you are an avid follower of me, you guys know that I stream every Wednesdays at 8 p.m. So whenever I stream, sometimes I like to stream and then show off my video editing skills while I stream. So, you know, if I'm using video editing and it's taking up a lot of bandwidth on my graphics card, and I'm streaming at the same time, there could be a lot of clashes going on, especially if I didn't have a good enough graphics card. So basically in a nutshell, my 3090 that I'm installing into my system is gonna future-proof me for a very long time. But anyways, let's get right back to the video. So how do you upgrade your GPU in your PC? Well, fortunately, it is one of the easiest things to do in your PC. But before you do any dismembering of your PC, you first need to go over to your desktop and you need to remove any drivers associated with the GPU that you currently have installed. Now you do not need to do this process if you're going from an Nvidia GPU to another Nvidia GPU or AMD to AMD. You only need to do this process if you're going from Nvidia to AMD or AMD to Nvidia. But in my case, I did it anyways, just to show you guys how to perform this process. Now, it is not as simple as just going to the add or remove programs on your Windows PC and then just uninstalling the particular driver on that PC. No, you actually need to download a program called Display Driver Uninstaller, and this is gonna allow you to uninstall everything associated with that particular GPU. And it's important that you do it this method and not just go into add and remove programs because sometimes when you delete a driver using the add and remove programs, it still leaves the remnants of that particular driver, which can then cause issues if you're going from Nvidia to AMD or AMD to Nvidia. So we don't wanna have any issues, so make sure you download Display Driver Uninstaller, which of course, I'm gonna link it in the description down below in case you're gonna do this method. So after you go to the website and you download Display Driver Uninstaller, you just have to have it on your system. You do not need to open it right now. 
because we have to boot the system into safe mode. So to boot your system into safe mode, make sure you have everything closed and you just go over and restart your system, but you make sure that you have shift held down while you do this. After you successfully boot into safe mode, you just need to click on troubleshoot. After you click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options and then click on startup settings and this is going to allow you to boot into safe mode correctly. Once the options for the startup menu pop up, just click 5 on your keyboard and that's going to enable you to boot into safe mode with networking enabled as well. Now once you boot into safe mode, as you will notice, it's going to ask you for a password. This password is not the same as the pin that you normally use to get into your Windows PC. Big mistake I was trying to do was just enter my pin and it just wasn't working for me. So make sure you enter in the password because they are two different things. But basically after you do that, then you have successfully booted your system into safe mode. And now is when you can open up display driver uninstaller. And so after you click on display driver uninstaller, you can close out of the little menu that first pops up and then you could just click on select device type. And for here, you wanna make sure you click on GPU and then you wanna uninstall each individual driver for each manufacturer. And I do recommend that you do this because sometimes you do leave remnants of a different driver on your system. So while you're here, you might as well just wipe everything clean. That way, when you load the new drivers onto your system for that new graphics card, you don't have any issues going forward. So as you see, I clicked on each individual driver and then I clicked on clean and do not restart. That way you can delete the rest of the other drivers. When I got to the last driver, which for me was Nvidia, I then clicked on clean and then shut down. That way, after it shuts down, we could power off our system and then we can remove our graphics card. Now that we have cleared all our drivers off our PC, now it's time to dismember our PC. And this process is extremely simple. First off, we just need to remove the side panel. That way we can get into our PC. For me, it's just two side screws that are on the side. After we get into our PC, now it's time to remove the GPU. For my GPU, which is the RTX 2060, it is a two slot graphics card. So I just need to remove two screws holding it in place. And then I just need to pull it out and remove it from the PCIe slot on my motherboard. It was a little tricky for me to do this, but I finally did get it out. And man, this 3090 is extremely huge. It is completely dwarfing our RTX 2060, which has three fans. And one thing is that this is a three slot GPU instead of a two slot like my RTX 2060 was. So it is a little bit more thicker than my previous generation GPU. So that also added to the issues I was having. And getting this 3090 into my system was quite tricky because I have a Noctua cooler, which is already huge as is. And then just trying to fit this big old graphics card was very difficult. And I'm not gonna lie, it got me a little worried because I thought the multiple peripherals were in the way and preventing my GPU to fit in the PCIe slot. But nonetheless, it fit and now it takes up three screws to hold it in place. So after I got that done, I closed up my system and I connected everything back to the PC. Now, after we start off the PC, you're gonna quickly find out that, man, this is super weird because it's super blurry. The graphics look terrible, but don't worry. That's only because there are no drivers currently on your system. So what we have to do is go over to the manufacturer's website, which in my case was Nvidia. If you have an AMD graphics card, you just have to go over to that graphics card website and then just download the drivers that are for your system. Since I have Nvidia, I went to the Nvidia website and I downloaded the Nvidia software, which also included the GeForce experience. So I have both on my system. And don't worry, if you're like me and you're a video editor and a gamer, there is nothing to worry about because the studio ready drivers also include a lot of the game ready drivers. So you don't have to worry too much about this process. But after you have the drivers downloaded, you're gonna see that the resolution comes right back into place and everything looks way better on your system. Well guys, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. If you have any questions regarding this GPU, my last GPU, or the 3070, I don't know, 
ask away in the comment section down below because I would love to know what you guys have to tell me. If you're wondering, what did I do with the 3070? Well, fortunately, one of my friends was actually looking for a 3070 for their PC. So it ended up working out perfectly because I kept the 3090 and I gave the 3070 to one of my close friends at cost. So he was able to benefit from it. I was able to benefit from it. And at the end of the day, you can't call me a scalper. And remember guys, I stream every Wednesday at 8 p.m. So if you just wanna hang out, you wanna chit chat, or if you just wanna ask some questions, that is a great place to reach me. After all, they don't call me Matthew the best for nothing. You know what I'm saying? But anyways guys, my name is Matthew. Thank you so much for watching. But as always, peace out.